It's funny how people leave a trend just because it has become too familiar or other trends are replacing it. They later come back to the trend eventually. Just as skinny jeans and other various trends have found a way into many wardrobes over the years, the bell bottoms have divided and united fashion enthusiasts every time. We all know and might have come across the bell bottoms at one point or another. These are pants that flare out are the cuffs. They are always classics to rock anywhere, anytime. The bell bottoms have had many different associations in the last half of the 20th century. The outfit has a long history and before we look at it, do you have one for yourself because if you don't, you're missing out. What's popping trendy people? Welcome to today's video, where we shall be going back in time and talking all about bell bottoms. They were in fashion sometime back in the 70s and 80s, but they're back, and I'd say with a bang. As we get to it, remember to subscribe to our channel. You can also comment on what you think of bell bottoms being the new thing in town despite their old age. Without further ado, let's go cracking and let's see where they originated from. Did you ever imagine that the military would inspire an outfit? The bell bottom was initially part of a military uniform, the US Navy used it, and they wore the bell bottoms at the beginning of the 19th century by sailors who did not have proper uniforms to work in. They were adopted officially by the British Navy mid-century. After ordinary people adopted them, the bell bottoms brought about strong emotions. Some people have gone ahead to say that they are a fashion mistake, while some boldly wore them as a fashion statement. What do you think? Was it a mistake? Women's boot-cut jeans are tighter at the knee and flare out from the knee at the hem than men's boot-cut jeans. Men's styles are typically straight-legged, though in the early mid-2000s, Flare pants were available as an option. The tightness of the cloth at the knee distinguishes the 1960s and 1970s bell bottoms from flare or bootcut jeans from the 1990s and 2000s. The bell bottoms were designed as an item of traditional clothing for a sailor. They have, for a long, been part of the naval uniform. The wide legs of the bell bottom made it easy to pull wet pants off over heavy boots. This was helpful to those who fell overboard to do away, you know, with heavy clothing. The bottom of the bell bottoms could have been then filled with air to act as a flotation device. A non-conformist culture emerged in the 1960s when American youth became interested in a different radical political and artistic activities. These young people called bohemians and hippies rejected commercial fashions and often shopped for cheap, practical clothes at Army Navy surplus stores. Here at these stores is where they found the Navy's denim bell bottoms. These bell bottoms adorned with embroidery and patches were an emblem of the flamboyant hippie counterculture. By tucking a triangle of cloth into the side seam of straight leg jeans, some created bell bottoms. Fashion eventually caught up with the counterculture. Clothing designers began to create fashionable bell bottoms, some with legs so broad that they were dubbed elephant bells. The hippie culture, of course, of the 60s and the 70s helped to popularize bell bottoms which were worn with a variety of heeled shoes ranging from clogs to boots with Cuban heels. They're called flare trousers because of their shape, tight at the thighs, and widens at the knees, although they're also known as flare jeans, the loon trousers which were even wider at the hem, and elephant bells, a style that covers the shoes totally, were among the many variants that saw the light of day throughout the years, the boot cut. A less broad and more fitted variation of the bell bottoms was introduced in the mid-1990s. Bell bottoms were no longer a political statement by the mid-1970s, they were trendy and came in a wide range of textiles, however, like other flamboyant 1970s style, they quickly fell out of favor. Bell bottoms quickly became associated with being hopelessly out of style. Bell bottoms have also been worn for centuries by European carpenters, which is explained by the widening legs preventing sawdust from falling into their shoes or feet. Bell bottoms are still worn by carpenters who decide to spend their time after the apprenticeship. Bell bottoms gradually faded from fashion collections in the 2000s, becoming nearly non-existent in the early 2000s before making a triumphant comeback in the recent seasons. Whether it's leggings, denim jeans, or suit trousers, runway shows have shown many flare styles. We saw a classic striped yellow and green version at Moschino, an oversized denim version at Gabriella Hearst, and a sleek, embroidered version at Versace in the 2022 collections. The bell bottoms were trimmed with modern slits in front of a bogter. Which, well, while they were extra long at 16 Arlington to cover the shoes, many designers have recreated the flare style in the previous seasons. Bring it back to trendy. 
On the other hand, bell bottoms are becoming increasingly popular among fashionistas, not only because of their retro inspired look, but also because they offer numerous benefits for our current wardrobes. The flitter design elongates the form like no other, giving it a slim, elegant appearance that draws attention. They do have a vintage inspiration and is particularly current at the time, but their fascination is based on the wonders it performs. A stylish white shirt and classic loafers go well with blue jeans, while a black cotton version looks great with a fitted blazer and a chunky sweater. The possibilities are unlimited and bell bottoms can complete an outfit independently. Flares have been reinterpreted in an endless variety of designs and at all price tiers. This season, Free People has released an oversized denim version in a variety of bright colors ranging from bubble pink to neon orange. Pull and Bear has a classic black option with a ring waistline on the high street, while Boohoo has reimagined flare jeans in a light wash. Gucci's bell bottoms came in a more fitted shape, with the brand's name Appliquid at the hem. While iconic denim company Levi's has produced a new style that will undoubtedly become a classic. The 70s High Flare Jeans while there are many new fall 2019 design trends, 20 in total, according to our autumn fashion guide, the one thing they all have in common is that they aren't all that new. Many of the season's top trends are based on earlier styles that are making a resurgence such as Dr. Martens, which debuted nearly 60 years ago and are now on one of the it shoes for fall. And of course, the classic denim jacket, which has gone through numerous redesigns for each decade. Still, we've noticed one trouser trend that we believe is finally returning for good after years of conjecture. But it's guaranteed to stir up some debate. Flare jeans appear to be making a comeback after a long absence. Every year, people promise that this year, flares will make a comeback, but we're no longer buying it. We're pretty fond of it, while we don't recommend tossing away all your well-worn skinnies, the flare jeans return has been predicted. When we dish our jeggings and ribcage skinnies in favor of loser-fitting wide leg denim and mom jeans, the 70s style began shimming their way back into our closets before you roll your eyes at the image of Saturday Night Fever, bell bottoms, and flower child flares know that there are a few ways to wear this trend in the 21st century. Whether it's in the form of a dramatic wide leg or a subtle flutter, it's safe to say flare jeans will officially be back. Bell bottoms have come and gone numerous times over the decades from over the top embroidered versions to paired back traditional options. One thing is for sure, they're a safe bet for the upcoming season, so we'll get a lot of use out of them. And that marks the end of today's video. Do you think that bell bottoms are back for good? If you do, would you rock it? And how would you rock it? Tell us all about that in the comments section. Remember to also leave a like for us if you enjoyed the video. Please share the video. Your friends need to enjoy it too. Get the bell bottoms. And don't forget to subscribe. Hit that bell button for notifications of our next video upload. Till then, ciao.